The Minister of Roads and Highways, Francis Asensobwache, says his ministry will not hesitate to terminate the contract of certain contractors responsible for inner city road projects within the central region. These contractors have abandoned their sites, resulting in the sluggish progress of several road projects in the region. Mr. Asensobwache says the terminated contracts will be reawarded to ensure the timely completion of, the, of these inner city roads. Our central regional correspondent, Calvis Tete, has more in this report. The Roads and Highways Minister, Francis Asensobwache, has indicated his ministry's commitment to ensuring inner city road projects within the central region are completed on time. To achieve this, the minister says contractors working on some inner city road projects but have abandoned the project leading to delays in completion will be taken off the contract and re-awarded to another contractor to meet scheduled deadlines. The minister, who is on an inspection tour of some road projects in the central region, started in the Owutu Senya East Municipality, where he inspected the 14-kilometer Kaswa Bojwase and two kilometers of adjoining access road, which forms part of a trunk road classified as a regional road. He also inspected works on the 12.5-kilometer Ojobi to Senya Breku Road, as well as the 10.4-kilometer Ejumaku in Kwantanum Eshiem Road. However, during the inspection of the ongoing works on the main Kaswa to Winneba stretch, Minister Francis Asensobwache noted that work is scheduled to be completed within 36 months, adding that this will ease the traffic situation on the stretch. A very important road which forms part of the M1, connecting Accra to three major cities on the corridor. That is Winneba, Kipko, and, and, and Takrade. As you can see, um, those who have the experience of traveling on this road, when you travel and you reach Budumbura, it can take you about three hours or more before you can navigate yourself through to go to Accra. And government took a decision to upgrade and dualize the road so that it will enhance business, tourism, and other economic activities. Uh, so far, well, the, 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 the projects are into two lots, one by a little Ghanaian company called McFermont, which is 12 kilometers, 12 kilometers. And that uh, 12 kilometers has some very important interventions, including underpass, overpass, and other uh, important uh, uh, structures that will totally transform um, the road. The other session, the other lot, is from Akoti to Winneba, and that is 18 kilometers. Also by another comp a local company called uh, M M M M the Lovely. Uh, also another local company. So the project duration is 36 months. The dualization of the Kaswa to Winneba stretch have not gone without a challenge, but the challenges have been surmounted. We also have uncontrolled access. There's a lot of uh, urbanization along the corridor. There's a lot of population growth along the corridor, business growth and so on. Everybody wants to enter the same road at the same time, and then it creates problems. We also have unsafe pedestrian crossings. The communities want to cross from one side to the other. Uh, Overall, the capacity of the road, how much traffic is able to pass within an hour, is now a huge challenge. We also have threats of head-on collisions, and we have uh, reports on that. So what uh, the contractors have done is to engage a design uh, consultant and who has done for them a full-blown uh, engineering detailed study and then design considering traffic, considering the existing pavement and its usability, and considering uh, drainage and other things. And so uh, <coughs> the solutions to the problems identified are as a result of this detailed uh, study. Regarding the Bodriasi Road construction, Member of Parliament for the area, Gisela Tete Agbotri, questioned why the contractor has not been paid his due since commencement of the job, adding that this will aid in the completion of the work. 
And about three roads are in this constituency, so it's good that he has come to see himself. I think he's also impressed by the progress of the work. The contractor has the capacity. I've said it over and over again because I know I'm in the, in the construction field myself and I know when somebody has that capacity. However, as I've mentioned to him, and he also knows it's about payment, so the government should please make the payments. This same contractor worked on the Bojasi Adels Road in my predecessor's time, and his payments are still not complete. Payments have still not been made. There are still outstanding payments on that. No payment has been done on this road, as you see from the addendum all the way to Bojasi. So please, there's a limit to how much a contractor can, can work without payments. There's a limit. And I think that this should be a national discussion because it's not everything about politics. Fact is fact. For, um, funds, finance is the oil and is the fuel of the construction industry. And so I think that they should do well because there are some contractors, when, they, when you see they are working, encourage them. The sector minister, Asensu Bwachi, has visited some inner roads which is under construction here in the central region. He also visited the Kaswa to Winneba stretch which is under construction and assured that the project will be completed in no time. Carl Stete, City News, Winneba.